Traveling to faraway worlds beyond our own solar system has long been a fantasy for space lovers. A salient recurrent question always accompanies this tall dream. Can humanists ever really become a spacefaring civilization? Modern sci-fi films and other media have been the main expression of this fantasy, with billion-dollar franchises like Star Wars and Star Trek being the more notable examples. However, what is the reality of interstellar travel? Just how possible is it with the technology we currently have at our disposal? What does the future hold? These are just a few of the questions this video will address. Let's get started. Let's start by explaining exactly what we mean by interstellar travel. Interstellar travel is voyaging from one star or star system to another star or star system within the same galaxy. It is therefore a form of intragalactic travel. Intergalactic travel is voyaging from one galaxy, such as our own Milky Way galaxy, to another galaxy. The nearest galaxy to ours is Andromeda, which is about 2.5 million light years away. This is the distance light would travel in two and a half million years. A galaxy is a collection of stars and their associated star systems. The universe is home to 200 million to 2 trillion or more galaxies. However, that is a whole other tangent for a whole other video. Now, our own solar system is a classic example of a star system. It is a system of planets, moons, rocks and dust that orbit and interact around a central star like the Sun. As you already know, the Earth and its neighboring planets are in heliocentric orbits around the Sun and each completed orbit represents a year of time. The nearest star system to our solar system is Proxima Centauri, which is just under 4.5 light years away. It is difficult to say who the first person to imagine venturing to faraway stars was, but the first person to come up with technical designs for interstellar vehicles was Russian rocket scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Tsiolkovsky came up with his designs for a galaxy-exploring rocket way back in 1911, roughly a decade after he penned a journal article called Exploration of Cosmic Space by Means of Reaction Devices. This article is respected for laying out major principles that still govern modern spaceflight. How possible is interstellar travel? First, we need to understand where current technology stands. The fastest spacecraft ever made is NASA's Parker Solar Probe. PSP, launched in 2018 to observe the Sun's outer corona. With the aid of solar gravity, the PSP is believed to be capable of reaching speeds of 690,000 km per hour, 430,000 km per h, or 191 km, 118 miles per second. Although this is wickedly fast by standards here on Earth, the PSP's top speed would not even scratch the surface when it comes to the requirements for efficient interstellar travel. Let's take a theoretical trip to Proxima Centauri, for example. Making the 4.3 light-year trip to the closest star to our Sun would take over 6,700 years at the PSP's maximum speed. Factor in the lack of the Sun's gravitational pull and we're looking at nearly 7,200 years. Remember, this is just a journey to our closest neighbouring star system. The Milky Way galaxy spans about 100,000 light-years across. In a straight shot across our home galaxy, the PSP would take 169,490,279 years to travel from edge to edge. For context, dinosaurs like the Triceratops and Velociraptor lived closer to the present day than they did to 169 million years ago. The average distance between stars in the Milky Way is about 5 years, with greater proximity near the galactic centre and greater spacing as we move away from the centre. Without gravitational aid, the PSP's 137 kilometers 110 miles per second can cover 5 light years in 8,474 years. Again, let's not forget that this is an unmanned space probe. Human beings haven't even come close to creating a crewed spacecraft that can reach those speeds yet. Even if we did, such voyages with human beings aboard would be ethical lightning rods, to say the least. For starters, the launch crew would have to be willing to accept that they would die long before the quarter mark of the journey. Secondly, initial voyagers would need to be willing to commit their kids, grandkids and further descendants to a mission with unknown outcomes. 
The ethical questions about conceiving and raising children for the sole purpose of crewing an interstellar spaceship are too profound for this video. as are the questions of raising further generations for this sole purpose. According to population experts, it takes 20-25 years for a new human generation to rise. Working with a 25-year generation gap, it would take 288 generations just to reach Proxima Centauri and a mind-boggling 6,779,611 generations to cross the Milky Way once. And that's without stopping for exploring and snapping pictures. As you can see, the current level of technology, as well as the logistics and ethics of transporting more human generations than there's ever been mean even intergalactic interstellar travel, is still some distance away. However, a little-known scientist by the name of Albert Einstein may have had the key to conquering such vast distances much more efficiently. Wormholes Popular media like Star Trek and the movie Interstellar see the employment of space-time shortcuts to eat up vast distances that would otherwise take generations to traverse. These shortcuts take the form of wormholes and black holes. Einstein's relativity theory argued that while no object can travel faster than light in a vacuum, objects with extraordinary mass and gravity can exert influence on space-time. In the film Interstellar, the protagonist and his crew go through a wormhole that leads to a faraway star system as they look for a new habitable planet. In simple terms, a wormhole is an end-to-end space-time funnel that connects two distant points. In even simpler terms, it is a type of portal that allows objects to bypass the typical laws of distance, space and time. No one knows for sure how wormholes are formed, but the main contemporary theory is that wormholes are created when two black holes are joined together. Ultimately, the possibility of interstellar travel is still a pipe dream. We are in the process of developing new propulsion systems, but we are yet to come close to travelling at the speed of light. The technology to create and harness wormholes is even further off, and these phenomena are still very much theoretical. After all, there is a healthy chance that entering a wormhole would do little besides rearranging your insides. If we're being generous, we're at least a hundred years away from efficient and ethical interstellar travel. Missions to Mars and other solar system planets will doubtless inspire new ways of thinking with regard to propulsion at least. Conclusion That brings us to the end of the video for today. Thank you for watching and we hope you will like and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and ding the bell to keep up with more amazing space content. Bye for now.